New information on the death of one of SeaWorld's most famous animals, Tilikum, the killer whale. According to SeaWorld, Tilikum died as a result of bacterial pneumonia. He was about... Sarah Sanford, she's been missing for more than two weeks. Police are looking for her tonight, but so are a lot of other people after the family turned to social media for help. The course of your life forever, making you a convict behind bars for years. Tonight, we take you into the mind of a convicted criminal. In a news and now to a developing national story tonight. President Trump's temporary immigration ban is on hold after a federal judge issued a temporary restraining order last night. The justice... People in one Bay Area city can now get around in a fun, healthy, and environmentally friendly way. This morning was the official launch of Coast Bike Share in St. Peter's. In case of abuse at a St. Petersburg assisted living facility to tell you about, St. Pete police arrested a caregiver at that home for repeatedly beating a patient. News Channel 8's Triple New information this morning on a shooting investigation in Claywater on South Madison Avenue. We're learning one person was flown to a hospital with life threatening injuries. Officers are working on a possible. New overnight. Tonight, this scary situation. Take a look at a Lakeland train crossing where a rail car hit a pedestrian who then got pinned between the car and sidewalk. Counties. Now to a story that's all news tonight. A community came together to honor a 17-year-old who was hit and killed while walking to his bus stop. A memorial bench was unveiled for Kaylin Kirk. Thousands of Rays fans prove they are more than ready for baseball season to get underway and pretty fast. They packed Tropicana Field today for the Rays annual fan fest.